Gerald Levert was a famous American singer, songwriter, and producer. His strong voice and contributions to R&B music made him well-known. Gerald was the son of Eddie Levert, the lead singer of the legendary R&B group, The OJs. He became famous in the 1980s. He was in the R&B trio Levert, which he formed with his brother Sean Levert and friend Mark Gordon. The group produced several hits, including Casanova, Baby I'm Ready, and Goes My Mind. Also to his success with Levert, Gerald enjoyed a successful solo career. His solo hits include Private Line, Baby Hold On To Me, a duet with his father Eddie Levert, and I'd Give Anything. He was also in the supergroup LSG with Keith Sweat and Johnny Gill. They produced hits like My Body. Gerald Levert became known for his emotive singing. He was able to convey deep feelings in his performances. Throughout his career, he earned many awards. They included Grammy nominations and wins at the Soul Train Music Awards. Gerald Levert died on November 10, 2006. He was 40. He died from a deadly mix of prescription and over-the-counter drugs. Despite his death, his legacy still inspires R&B and soul artists. Gerald Levert was born on July 13, 1966, in Canton, Ohio. He grew up in a musical home. It was full of music. His father, Eddie Levert, was the lead singer of the OJs. His mother, Martha Levert, also played a big role in his upbringing. But she stayed out of the limelight. From a young age, Gerald experienced the music industry and grew up in that environment. He watched his father perform. Music surrounded him. This is when he developed a passion for singing and performing. He developed it early on. This music world helped his talent. He often practiced and performed with his father. He learned the details of the music business. Gerald's early experiences and family connections were in the music industry. They laid a strong base for his future career. He formed the R&B group La Verre in 1984. He formed it with his younger brother, Sean Levert, and childhood friend, Mark Gordon. The group's success in the 1980s and later was a testament to Gerald's talent. It was also due to the influence of his musical upbringing. Levert attended Shaker Heights High School in Shaker Heights, Ohio. During his time there, he started to develop his musical talents more. However, he did not pursue higher education. His music career took off early in his life. Instead, he focused on building his music career. He used the experience and connections he gained from his father. He also used the vibrant musical environment he grew up in. In 1984, Gerald Levert formed the R&B group Levert, marking the beginning of his early career. He started the group with his younger brother, Sean Levert, and their friend, Mark Gordon. They had known Mark since childhood. The group's breakthrough came with their second album, Bloodline, in 1986. It included the hit single, Goes My Mind. The song reached number one on the Billboard R&B charts. This established Levert as a top act in the R&B genre. The success continued with their third album, The Big Throwdown, in 1987. It featured the hit single, Casanova. This song topped the R&B charts. It also crossed over to the pop charts, reaching the top five on the Billboard Hot 100. Casanova was also nominated for a Grammy Award, further solidifying their mainstream appeal. Levert released several more successful albums in the late 1980s and early 1990s. They included Coolin, 1988, and Ropa Dope Style, 1990. Gerald's powerful voice and emotive delivery were key elements of the group's appeal. Also to his work with Levert, Gerald began to pursue a solo career. He released his first solo album, Private Line, in 1991. It included hits like the title track Private Line and Baby Hold On To Me, a duet with his father, Eddie Levert. The success of this album helped establish Gerald as a significant solo artist in the R&B genre. Gerald Levert's early career mixed his R&B with his musical upbringing. This created a sound that many liked. His work with Levert and as a solo artist set the stage for a successful career. The career would continue to grow in the following decades. Gerald Levert got his big break when the R&B group Levert formed. He co-founded it 
with his brother Sean Levert and childhood friend Mark Gordon in 1984. The group struggled to gain traction, but their persistence paid off with the release of their second album, Bloodline, in 1986. This album featured the hit single, Goes My Mind, which reached number one on the Billboard R&B charts. The success of this single marked a turning point for the group. It brought them much attention and established their presence in the R&B music scene. Levert's next big breakthrough came with their third album, The Big Throwdown, in 1987. The album included the smash hit Casanova. It topped the R&B charts and crossed over to the Billboard Hot 100's Top 5. Casanova was a big milestone. It was also nominated for a Grammy Award. This boosted the group's profile. Gerald had vocal talent. The group blended smooth harmonies with catchy, danceable tracks. This mix resonated with a wide audience. It led to more radio play, TV appearances and concert tours. This period of success with Levert set the stage for Gerald's later solo career. It let him use his reputation to further his art. Levert and Gerald found success on their own in the 1990s. This cemented his status as a top figure in R&B. His first solo album, Private Line, came out in 1991. It was well received and included hits like the song Private Line. It also had a duet with his father, Eddie Levert, called Baby Hold On To Me. That song also topped the R&B charts. Gerald Levert had big success with both groups and solo. These marked his entry into the music mainstream. Gerald Levert had many number one hits in his career. He had them both as a member of Levert and as a solo artist. Here are some of his most notable chart-topping songs. Casanova, 1987. This song reached number one on the Billboard R&B chart. It also crossed over, reaching the top five on the Billboard Hot 100. Baby I'm Ready, 1991. Another significant hit for Levert. This song also reached number one on the Billboard R&B chart. Private Line, 1991. The title track from his debut solo album, Private Line, reached number one on the Billboard R&B chart. Baby Hold On To Me, 1992. This duet with his father, Eddie Levert, also reached number one on the Billboard R&B chart, My Body, 1997. As part of the supergroup LSG, this song reached number one on the Billboard R&B chart. The hits show Gerald Levert's big impact on R&B. His skill was always to make hit songs. This showed his influence and popularity in the genre. Gerald Levert received many awards. They recognized his contributions to the R&B music industry. Some of his notable awards include Grammy Awards. Gerald Levert received several Grammy nominations throughout his career. He didn't win a Grammy but they recognized him for his work on R&B music. Soul Train Music Awards Gerald Levert won many Soul Train Music Awards over the years. The awards honored his great singing, songwriting, and R&B genre contributions. NAACP Image Awards Levert also won at the NAACP Image Awards. The awards celebrate the achievements of people of color in fields like music. BET Awards Gerald Levert got an award at the BT Awards. The awards celebrate African-American achievement in entertainment. American Music Awards The American Music Awards honored Levert. The awards recognize outstanding achievements in the American music industry. Gerald Levert got songwriter awards. The awards were from ASCAP, the American Society of Composers, Authors and Publishers. He got them for his contributions to R&B and soul music. The awards reflect Gerald Levert's impact. He was a singer, songwriter, and performer in the R&B music industry. Both fans and peers celebrated his talent and contributions. They solidified his legacy as a legend in contemporary R&B music. There may have been rumors about his dating life, but we know or confirm few details about his romances. Levert generally kept his personal life private. He focused on his music career and art. As a result, there isn't a definitive list of individuals he dated during his lifetime. However, here are some notable ones. Candy Burris, 2003 to 2005. Gerald was in a relationship with singer Candy Burris. Mickey Howard, 1985 to 1989. He dated fellow singer Mickey Howard during this period. 
actress and comedian Kim Whitley spoke about her romance with Gerald Levert. Gerald also had a connection with actress and comedian Monique. Gerald Levert's soulful voice and hits resonate with fans, even after his passing in 2006. Gerald Levert was never married, but he had one son named Lamica and two daughters, Cameron and Carlicia. Family members kept his ashes after he passed away in 2006. Gerald's son, Lamica, has followed in his father's musical footsteps. He is a singer and songwriter, carrying on the family legacy in the music industry. Cameron is one of Gerald's daughters. She keeps a private life. But she shares her father's love for music and creativity. Carlicia, another of Gerald's daughters, has also embraced her musical heritage. She has a soulful voice and performs in tribute to her late father. Gerald Levert's influence continues. It lives on through his talented children. They honor his memory and add to the world of music. Levert passed away on November 10, 2006, at 40. He died from an accidental overdose. The drugs were prescriptions. Reports suggested a clear heart attack as the cause of his death. But an autopsy by the Cuyahoga County Coroner's Office revealed that it was a fatal mix of prescription and over-the-counter drugs that caused his passing. Levert's death came as a shock to his fans and the music industry as he was still involved in his career and had a significant impact on the R&B genre. Many mourned his passing. They remember his talent, contributions to music, and his legacy as a beloved R&B artist. His sudden departure saddened the soul music world. It left behind a legacy of great music and heartfelt shows. He had an estimated net worth of $5 million. But during his career, Gerald Levert was a successful singer, songwriter, and producer. He found success both alone and as part of the R&B group Levert. He likely earned a lot of money throughout his career. This was due to his contributions to the music industry. He had successful albums, hit singles, and collaborations. Also, his work on various projects like tours and performances may have added to his wealth. But he was a prominent figure in the R&B genre. Fans around the world continue to celebrate and remember his work. This wasn't any mansion. It was the cherished home of the legendary R&B artist Gerald Levert. As you approach the gates of the estate, the grandeur of the mansion unfolded before your eyes. Tall, swaying trees framed the pathway. They led to the imposing entrance. Double doors at the entrance had intricate carvings. They welcomed visitors with sophistication. Upon entering, the opulent interior mesmerized anyone who stepped inside. The foyer, bathed in the soft glow of crystal chandeliers, exuded warmth and luxury. The floors gleamed. They led the way to the heart of the mansion. There, a sprawling living room awaited plush furnishings and priceless artwork adorned it. Gerald's personal touch was on every corner of the mansion. It reflected his great taste and love for the finer things. Vintage instruments adorned the music room, which also had soundproofed walls. It served as his sanctuary. There, melodies flowed and creativity knew no bounds. The dining hall had a long, polished table and golden candlesticks. It saw many gatherings filled with laughter and soulful conversations. Here, friends and family gathered to enjoy great meals cooked by the best chefs. Gerald's smooth voice provided the soundtrack to unforgettable evenings. Venturing further into the mansion, you would find intimate corners. They held cherished memories. The cozy library had shelves of leather-bound books. It was Gerald's retreat. He found solace in books and drew inspiration for his music there. Outside, the estate's grounds were sprawling. They offered a sanctuary of peace in the bustling city. Someone tended to a lush garden. It provided a serene backdrop for strolls and moments of reflection. The pool sparkled. Lounging areas and lush plants surrounded it. It guests to bask in the warm sun. But beyond the lavishness and grandeur, Gerald's mansion was more than a luxury home. It was a haven filled with love, laughter, and the soulful spirit that defined his music. It was a place where friends were family, and every note sung echoed with the warmth of his heart. Though Gerald may have died, his mansion remained a testament to his lasting legacy. It was a timeless symbol of his love for life and music. 
Cleveland, Ohio was a bustling city. The rhythm of life there matched the beat of the streets. In that city, there was a man. His love for music rivaled only his passion for the open road. This man was none other than Gerald Levert. He was the legendary R&B artist. His soulful voice filled the airwaves and touched millions. But in the music that defined his life, Gerald had another passion. It came to life in his impressive car collection. Each vehicle showed his eclectic tastes and big personality. They reflected the many sides of the man behind the music. A sleek vintage Cadillac Eldorado was at the heart of Gerald's collection. It was a timeless classic that exuded elegance and sophistication. With its gleaming chrome accents and plush leather interior, this beauty was more than a car. It symbolized luxury and style, suited to the man who lived life to the fullest. But Gerald's love for cars extended far beyond the confines of classic luxury. Hidden in his garage was a roaring muscle car. It was a Chevrolet Camaro SS. Its powerful engine showed Gerald's unbridled energy and zest for life. Its bold lines and thunderous roar made it a beast of a car. It was the embodiment of raw power and adrenaline-fueled excitement. Yet among the classics and muscle cars, one vehicle in Gerald's collection stood out. It was a sleek, custom Cadillac Escalade. It had all the latest gadgets and gizmos. This modern marvel was Gerald's pride and joy. It was a symbol of his success and status in music and beyond. But the most cherished car in Gerald's collection wasn't flashy or a vintage classic. It was a humble, well-loved Ford pickup truck. It was passed down through generations of Levert men. This tough but reliable vehicle held a special place in Gerald's heart. It reminded him of his roots and the values his family instilled in him. The sunset over the city casts a golden glow over Gerald's collection. One thing was clear. His love for cars was as varied and dynamic as his music. Each vehicle in his collection told a story. They reflected the many sides of Gerald Levert. He was an artist, a dreamer, and a man with boundless passion. And though he may have left this world, his car collection remained a lasting legacy. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of the man behind the characters. Join the next video. We will uncover more inspiring stories from entertainment. Until then, stay inspired and keep reaching for the stars.